Welcome, plungers. Thank you for tapping in. This is the mod I was talking about. It's called Dragon's Kingdom by Scorching Hami. You can pause at any time and check it out. So that's the mod. Let's update it real quick. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work and I've got a little friend. This is Larry. He's my shoulder pet, my Dimorphodon. I told you I needed one. So I got a little bit of work done. I got the cooking pot done and I got some kibble made and I got my auto grill set up and I got these two consoles here. We'll get into these at a later time and uh, get into the features and uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. But uh, there's my Dimorphodon. We'll land him. We won't take him anywhere right now. What we're going to do is get into this dragon. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to knock out a dragon. Um, it, it is relatively random how it works. Let's see if this uh, incubator will incubate this uh, egg collector over here can deal with this dragon egg. Let us see. Oh, it sure can. So we're going to wait for that. And through the miracle of YouTube editing, we have a fully hatched egg. Well, a fully... No, I do not want to consume this item. I want to drop it. That's literally what I want to do. Oh, look how small it is. Juvenile Zaldrier Dragon. Uh, we're going to name you Puff. That's your name. Your name is Puff now, Baby Puff. So it wants care in 14 minutes. I don't even know how my my stuff is set up, but in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna check out, oh, wait a minute. I don't know if this kid is following me. Don't be following me. Where is it? Oh, there it is. My goodness, he is so small. Yeah, do not follow me, buddy. Like, I can barely even see you. Don't follow me. Actually, follow me over here. Because I imagine he's going to get quite large. So, we'll just keep Larry. Come on, Larry. What the hell is going on, Larry? Oh, there's Larry. Okay, so we're going to stop you right there. We're going to turn that off because that's annoying. Um... Yeah, and we're going to check out the chibis in the meantime, in between time, because I've leveled up to 105, and now I need a chibi to extend those levels so I can get some more uh, stuff going, so I can have something for the engrams that are coming later, the tech stuff, you know, because, you know, I'm going to need the tech stuff, so uh, I'm going to need to make an, a double A. Oh no, actually I don't. Here it is. 
So I'm gonna need a uh, prime meat jerky. And luckily, I've already made this dehydrator here, which gave me a whole bunch of them. So I can make about 18 of them right now. No, I could make quite a bit more, I think. Because I think I have some jerky over here. Oh yes. So we can make 24 of them. So let's get let's get started. Let us get started. So we're just gonna make all of them. And uh, check them out as they come out. So the first one is a pteranodon. The second one is a true dot. We got a Gallimus. We got a Pelagornis. An Ovis. Uh, another uh, Raptor. Uh, it's hard to keep up with them now. A Parasaur. Um, an Overraptor. Uh, Moss Chops. Um, um, we got a Dodo. I think I missed one. I'm definitely missing them now. So let's just let them run out. Hopefully we get another couple of Anglerfish. Anglerfish are good. Anglerfish are good because they can provide light. An Ammonite. Horny. Hey, got two dodos. I know I missed one. What is this? An angler, that's the angler fish. That's the ammonite. An architect. Yeah, that. Whatever that is. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Carbon Emmys. They're kind of cute. What's this? A straw hat otter. I think we have a winner. I think we've got the winner, guys. Let's let's deal with the straw hat otter. And let's see what this last one is. Like we're gonna see it. Okay. So we got a Trudon, Raptor, Pteranodon, two Pteranodons, a Pheomia, Pelagornis, a Mesopithecus, which could be cool also. Moss Chops, Over Raptor, Ovis, Parasaur, Dodo, Two Dodos, Carbon Emmys, Bezel Buffo, Two Bezel Buffos, Three Bezel Buffos, You get a Bezel Buffo, You get a Bezel Buffo, Two Ammonites, Angler Fish, and a. Uh, okay. Archaeo Pertix. Archaeo Pertix. All right, so let's check. Let's just check, check these three out. So we're gonna start off. Let's start off with the Mesopithecus. Um, it's name in George. Where is where is George at? Ah. Look at it. Look at George. That is adorable. That is honestly too adorable. That is too adorable. Oh my goodness. Alright, before I get lost in that one, let's uh let's check out the arcade Um What are we gonna name them? Um Let's name them A. Because that is a ridiculously <laughs> difficult name. I'm going to name him A. Give him the easiest name to pronounce. 
So A is A is kind of cute too. All right, let's check out the straw hat otter. We've all been waiting for it, and the most obvious name is Luffy. And it is it is kicking my butt out how adorable this thing is. You are the cutest thing ever. Look at you. I just want to take you home and eat you up. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, so that's uh that's not all we got. I got this guy out. And uh I've decided to level him up a little bit. So this is a level 122 right now. 123. So I've got two dinos that I could kick some butt with. And let's see how far along this dragon has gotten. Let's see how big he is. Alright, I'm going to bring y'all back when he is fully grown. Hey, <laughs> look at Luffy. Look at Luffy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to bring y'all back when he's fully grown. See y'all then. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've got a proper ghillie suit now. From head to toe. This right here is Wade. I named him Wade because he kind of looks like Deadpool. <coughs> um, I got myself a Lystrosaurus. So I could level up these guys quicker while he's around them. But that's not why we're here. We're here to check out the dragon. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not as big as I thought it would be. Let's see what he can do. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, so he just glides. Which is very cool. Yeah, that that is actually really cool. That's what the attack looks like. Wow. Fifty six damage is not very good. That's not very good damage, and I'm taking quite a bit of damage also. Like, whoa, no, no way I'm going to let myself get taken out by a carbon enemies. I like the fact that you can still glide with uh, low stamina. That's cool. It doesn't build stamina very quickly. I'll tell you that. So this is a tier one dragon. Are you kidding me? Where the heck did that thing go? Because I remember one of those things just stole my power sword a little while ago. Okay, now I got uh, full stamina. And that glide is crazy. It flaps its wings to sprint and glides. Um. There is a way to upgrade this thing. And, uh... I think I'm gonna leave him right here. Leave Puff right here for a little while. And run and go get these things. Okay, so... When you kill an alpha, I believe it has to be an alpha. 
Okay, so you have to knock out, they have different levels of dragon. They have adult, they have elder, they have alpha, they have others. You have to take out an alpha, you have to knock out an elder or higher to get the egg. And I believe you have to kill an alpha to get one of these teeth to feed to your dragon to level him up. So let's try. I've got two, so let's give him one and let's let's feed it to him. Okay, so he did get a little bit bigger. He got a little bit bigger. I believe he's tier two now. Okay, let's watch it again. Yeah. Wow. That was noticeably bigger. So now he has to mature again. So I can't ride him again until he's mature. So I would have a tier three dragon at maturity. It goes up to tier five, I believe. But that is cool. So in the next episode, we're definitely going to take him out and I'm going to show you exactly where they spawn and all that good stuff. And I'm going to let him, I'm going to let him cook in the dino storage so I don't have to think about him. I don't have to worry about him. Now, as you can see, I got a few new, new tames. Pause if you missed it. But, I'm take this guy out. I'm going to see what ruckus we can cause. We're going to head into the hills. And uh, in an upcoming episode, we're going to head to, you see on the top left where it says to the under? We're going to head there on foot. So we're going to pick our best tames. And we're going to head out there on foot and see what we could find out there. What the hell? See any things? Where is it? Yeah, get him. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you in this episode. I'll see you in the next one. And I don't like the way the tail of this Brontosaurus is sticking out of my base. But yeah, we're going to uh, head this way when we do get up out of here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the next episode, guys. Uh, after we test out the dragon and see what the dragon is hitting for. But... That will be the next episode. So thank you as usual for pulling up and tapping in. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.